fourth and one and huddle, what were they saying? What were the coaches telling you guys to look for? Go get a stop. And, you know, we, we knew that they were going to run it. I think everybody knew that they were going to run it. So. Is that a game that defensive pl- only a defensive player could like, given the conditions and forcing all those throughouts? No, I don't think anybody likes to rain in the cold, to be honest with you. I mean, I didn't like it, so. But I mean, yeah, I guess you know you get to run, you get to play uh, a whole bunch of middle drill and just get to run the ball. But I mean, it's whatever to me. I don't really care too I don't care too much for that type of game. During that offseason, how much of the talk of last year's game was there in terms of motivating factor? Oh, I mean, yeah, you know, when somebody's not when somebody's not hustling this hard, we just remind them, hey, you know, they. Baylor's at the end of the season, so get ready for them. You know, it's, it's just a little extra motivation that, that just really fueled us throughout the whole, the whole offseason. Javon was saying this was basically just another win, wasn't really making anything about Baylor. What, what's your thoughts on that? Was it good to get win considering it was Baylor? I mean, it, yeah, it's, it's good to be Baylor, but of course this is win number 10. That's what we were looking for throughout the whole week, you know. So um, I, just, I think that was really like the biggest thing, just to get this number win so that we can go to, go to a good bowl game. Talk about your secondary for a second because Corey Coleman and Katie Cannon are two of the best receivers in the country, and they did a, a really good job. You guys did a good job pressuring Chris. Can you talk about the secondary's effort tonight? I just think they did an awesome job, and I couldn't be more proud of them for uh, just, just the way they handled those two all night. You know, we got a freshman out there, and, you know, he's, he's really grown a lot throughout the year. And then, of course, Corey, he's a senior. So just, just, those, just the whole secondary, Nick. I, you know, you just you just can't be more proud than for real, man. It's it's an awesome feeling. Sorry if you already answered this, but tell me a little bit about what you saw in Ty Summers tonight and breaking the I think breaking a record and then getting that last stop. Oh, and you know, Ty, he's a really hard worker, so that's not surprising that he would go out there and do something like that. What a what a way to end the season, huh? Yeah, it's an awesome feeling. You know, that's we we say it each we say it each uh, each week to get the. To give the seniors the best season they can, I think I think this really uh, helps helps it. How would you how what, how how would you describe this game? I mean, it was uh, was it fun? Was it a dog fight? Was it? It was a dog fight for sure. You know, just out there in the cold and the wind, and you know, they're cold, we're cold, everybody's wet. So you know, both sides are equal. So it's it's re- it was really a dog fight for the whole game. Does, do you guys look at this as kind of a redemption game, or no? You, you, you can't do that. No, we don't. I mean. Not a redemption game.